right, hopefully the sunlight sticks for a bit once I finish all my stuff. I was actually curious about the steps converting into kilometers from yesterday and everything. According to this anyways, it says it's about 1,312 steps equals one kilometer. So yesterday if I walked about 29,000 steps according to that thing, that means I walked for 22 kilometers. I don't know how accurate that is anyways. I always wonder if seeing stuff like this actually motivates people to actually walk instead. Actually, an interesting shot I wanted to get yesterday, but I just ran out of time and plus it started to rain, so maybe I'll try that today. Well, the stuff I read today, I actually didn't even see this one before. Apparently, there was this video that went viral. It had to do with about two people, I believe. They were waiting in a Starbucks, and for some reason, I guess they thought they were non-customers like they weren't gonna buy anything they were just sitting in the restaurant and they, as a result they called the police so person this person here apparently posted a video and it said here starbucks the police were called because these men hadn't ordered anything they were waiting for a friend to show up who did as they were taken out in handcuffs for doing nothing and then it would appear this is, could be a racial discrimination type of scenario like the, what the person wrote anyways it says all the other white people are wondering why it's never happened to us when we do the same thing so because of that, of course, it looked like the thing went viral and uh, the company issued like a statement about it as well. According to this, it says, we apologize to the two individuals and our customers and are disappointed this led to an arrest. We take these matters seriously and clearly have more work to do when it comes to how we handle incidents in our stores. We're reviewing our policies and will continue to engage with the community and the police department to try and ensure these types of situations never happen in any of our stores. So as expected, it seems like a lot of the articles coming out, they're titled along the lines of two black men arrested just to say there was some kind of racial discrimination involved here. I would assume for most people like myself, I'm confused, like why did you need to call the police for this? Were you afraid they had a weapon or something like that? Like what was the situation? Uh, it says here, a store manager had asked the two men to leave after they asked to use the bathroom but had not made any purchases, the police said. The men declined to leave and said they were waiting for a friend. Their attorney later said, the manager then called 911 for assistance, the company said. The confrontation was captured on a video viewed more than 8 million times on social media, fueling the backlash, which drew responses from Philadelphia's mayor, city's police commissioner, and now the chief executive of the biggest coffee house chain in the world. Obviously, this is only one side of the story. Maybe there was more to it. But at the same time, it just makes me wonder, how does it get this far? Because I mean, it even says they were taken to the police station, they were fingerprinted, photographed. Like, even as like, the police officer, if you do this, don't you sit there and wondering, like, if you came to the scene, you're wondering, why did you call us here? Do we really need to take the guy away, like, in this case? Like, what were they doing? Did they fight with the police afterwards, like, when they had a dispute? It just doesn't make sense in so many ways. I would think stuff like that would actually scare the ducks more than the drones and stuff flying above just because it's so close to it. it. Reminds me of that talk about say a killer whale being so terrified of a drone above his head yet you have people with these motorized boats going next to them. I think that would be worse overall. Speaking of drones, how's about this one? Well, I talk about those drones flying around that Auckland airport and the dangers of them. It says here, drone scare delays Auckland airport flights turns out to be a balloon. Yep, you heard it right here. Another drone scare at Auckland Airport upset travelers journeys but wasn't what it seemed. Several Sunday evening flights in and out the busy international airport were held up after what was thought to be another drone that was spotted. An Airway New Zealand spokeswoman said police and airport company staff alerted the control tower to the drone just before 6 p.m. So of course usually they try to warn saying these drones can take down airports is so dangerous and as a result of that safety precaution 
all these flights and so forth, they get rerouted, so it's a big hassle and a nuisance. But then it says here in the person, my flight and apparently others had to circle at Auckland Airport before landing because a pilot from another flight reported seeing a drone. Turns out it was a balloon. I'm not saying it can't happen or it's necessarily, for example, it's not safe, okay, to fly around the area, but it just makes me wonder again with all these reports, how many of them are they actually drones? Because it's one thing to report actual incidents, but just to have this paranoia and immediate reaction, it must be a drone. I don't think that's helping anyone, honestly. Okay, I think I got the shot that I wanted, but the lighting wasn't perfect. The lighting was actually perfect yesterday, but it was raining a bit, so I had to stop. Oh, gotta wait for the perfect day. Hopefully it'll come soon. Funny enough, there was a family there. There was like two kids, and I think the dad was telling them to like climb up the tree, and I was just getting the drone shots from far away. And I guess one of the child, they heard it, and they're like, it's a drone. I know what it is. <laughs> And so far, this stepping thing seems to be working okay. Again, it's just a battery guzzler because I have all this stuff running in the background like with these apps if they're tracking your steps and all that. See you guys later.